In water, each oxygen atom is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. As oxygen is more electrongative than hydrogen, therefore, oxygen carries partial negative charge and each hydrogen carries partial positive charge. Hence, water is a highly polar molecule. Water molecules keeps on moving and colliding with each other. But not all the collisions are energetic enough to transfer proton and cause ionization. But once that energetic collision happens, a proton is transferred from one water molecule to another. Water molecule from which proton is released as a result of ionization gets transformed into hydroxide ion. The other water molecule in which proton is added as a result of collision gets converted into hydronium ion. Hence, both the water molecules gets ionized as a result of collision. This is known as self-ionization or auto-ionization of water. We can write its equation as H2O plus H2O goes to form H3O positive plus OH negative. So, this equation is known as the self-ionization equation of water. We can also write it as simple ionization of water. H2O goes to form H positive plus OH negative. As already discussed, not every collision results in ionization. So most of the water remains in the form of H2O molecules. Only few water molecules gets ionized into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions. So, the presence of these few ions makes water a weak electrolyte. The experimentally determined concentrations of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions at 25 degrees Celsius are 1 into 10 raised to power minus 7 molar. We can write equilibrium constant expression for ionization of water as equilibrium constant is equal to concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. So Kc is equal to concentration of H plus into concentration of OH minus divided by concentration of H2O. Here, concentration of water is considered constant because water doesn't ionize much and mostly remains as H2O. Now, by moving concentration of water to the other side of equal, it gets multiplied with Kc. Kc and concentration of water both are constants and multiplying with each other. They can be replaced with a third constant. Here, that third constant is Kw. Kw is known as ionization constant for water, Oregon ion product for water. It is equal to concentration of hydrogen ion into concentration of hydroxyl ion. As the concentration of hydrogen ion and concentration of hydroxyl ion is equal to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 7 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. So, putting these values in KW expression, we get Kw is equal to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. As the value of concentration of hydrogen and hydroxyl ion is very small to convert it into more convenient value, a Danish chemist Soren Sorensen introduced the concept of pH and pOH in 1909. 
pH is defined as the negative log of the molar concentrations of hydrogen ions in aqueous solutions. So pH is equal to negative log of hydrogen ion concentration by putting the value of hydrogen ion concentration and taking negative log, we get pH equal to seven. Similarly, pOH is the negative log of hydroxyl ion concentration. Hence, by taking the negative log, the values become more convenient. As the value of seven is more convenient than one into 10 raised to power minus seven, The pH values can be conveniently used to analyze the nature of solution. If the value of pH is 7, the solution is neutral. If the value of pH is less than 7, the solution is acidic. And if the value of pH is greater than 7, the solution is basic. KW is temperature dependent. At 25 degrees Celsius, the value of KW is constant, which is one into 10 raised to power minus 14. It means if the concentration of hydrogen ions increases, the concentration of hydroxyl ion must decrease so that overall, the value of KW remains constant. This constant value of KW at a particular temperature is important to find out nature of solution. If the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions is equal to one into 10 raised to power minus seven, the solution is neutral. If the concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than one into 10 raised to power minus seven, the solution is acidic. And if the concentration of hydrogen ions is less than one into 10 raised to power minus seven, the hydroxyl ion concentration would be greater and the solution would be basic. <laughs>